Hi students, in this video I am going to talk to 7th standard students. Uh, students, we have been talking about third chapter animal fiber. In the chapter, we have completed all the subconcepts related to the chapter. We came to end of the chapter and in the last video I have given you some project work. Okay? I have given you a project to, to do, right? I hope you have done that. If you have done, that's well and good. You please uh, record everything that you are watching in the videos and put it safe with you. Okay, after the school reopens, then I will definitely ask you to present your work that you have done at your home. Okay, students, in this video, I'm going to talk about keywords of the chapter. Keywords. So far, what we have learned in this chapter, the key words that makes us to understand the lesson better. Okay. Uh, first keyword is animal fiber. Lesson name itself is a keyword that you just remember. Next. Next, silk worm. Cocoon. Mulberry. Next, sericulture. Bombix Mori Bombix Mori Next Reeling Fleece Sharing Scoring Knitting Bleaching Weaving Dying Wrap Not wrap, wrap W A RP Wrap and weft. Students, please try to remember the words and try to understand the words. Then you will be able to understand the lesson better if you know the key words of the chapter. First, animal fiber. You know, the fiber we get from animals. Silk worm. Worm, it's a worm. Right? The meaning in the word itself, you can see the worm. It's a worm. Worms, you know, sometimes we see some worms, white color worms in rice, right? Mm, same like that. The silk worms also look like that. But there is a lot of difference between that worm and this worm. Next, cocoon. Cocoon is nothing but it's a stage in life cycle of silk worm in telugu cocoons are called pattukayalu mulberry you know it's a plant mulberry plant twigs or leaves of the mulberry plants are used as food for silk worms silk worms feed on mulberry leaves and give silk 
नेक्स्ट सेरिकल्चर सेरिकल्चर इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑब्टेनिंग सिल्क बॉम्बिक्स मोरी व्हाट इज बॉम्बिक्स मोरी इट्स अ साइंटिफिक नेम ऑफ सिल्क वॉम ओके सिल्क मॉथ ओके सिल्क वॉम इज वॉम मॉथ नो बॉम्बिक्स मोरी मॉथ इट्स लाइक ए butterfly but it's not butterfly it's look it it looks like butterfly but it's not a butterfly i already told you in the before classes that all butterflies do not give silk but the moth which looks like butterfly okay it gives a fiber called silk next reeling is a process reeling process is followed in obtaining fabric or making fabric next fleece fleece is the soft hair which is very soft did you ever touch a cat in your house cat is a domestic animal right but we don't use the uh, fleece of cat we in the process of making fabrics but the fleece if you know the how soft it seems when you touch a cat it's very soft right rabbit like that the the hair of the animals it's very soft hair that is nothing but fleece next sharing sharing is a process like trimming cutting hair cutting of hair of the animal is sharing next scouring scouring is the process of washing okay next knitting knitting is a process of weaving weaving process manually we knit right knitting making knots with the help of loops and rings right with the help of two needles right that's knitting bleaching is also a process followed in making fabrics the fiber we obtain that's bleached in scouring process after scouring process that is bleached and bleaching is done Uh, to disinfect the fiber if any disease causing uh, microorganisms there in the fiber are killed by following a method called bleaching next weaving you know it's done it's a process of it's a process of arrangement of the yarns weaving is the process of arrangement of yarns vertical and horizontal arrangement of yarns give what fabric dyeing is a process of coloring coloring gives attraction to the fiber wrap and weft these terms you remember wrap vertical arrangement of the yarns in weaving process wrap horizontal arrangement of yarns in weaving process is called weft okay like this we can understand the keywords of the chapter and uh, that the next video i will teach you about what we have learned from the chapter that key points these are keywords of the chapter right in the next video i will teach you about key points of the chapter that key points also give you the better understanding of the chapter okay students this is for this video thank you for listening thank you one and all